Hi there, this is Tom from 4 Cladding Services and claddingmates.co.uk and today I'm going to do a quick video uh, just to discuss where exactly you should be placing a vacuum lifter uh, on the panel when you're doing vertical wall panels. So for this I've got some tools um, and I need your imagination as well. So I've got a ruler here and this is your composite panel. Um, you have this wonderful Lego crane um, and then you've got this sticky note here and this sticky note is your clad boy. So if you're doing horizontal wall work you should be placing the clad boy in the middle of the panel <clears throat> to make sure that that panel is nice and balanced. If you're doing vertical wall panels you should always place the clad boy in the what would be the top third of the panel. So if you imagine your panel is actually in situ, you should be looking at in the top third here. So I'll show you exactly why that is. So if I place that in the top third here, you can see that it is starting to lift at one end. Now the key here is that you should watch um, and get a couple of guys just to guide the bottom of this panel here because you'll start to see it slipping along. Now imagine that this under here is your pack of panels. So if you don't lift this up a little bit and take some of the weight um, and just guide it, then you'll end up scratching the bottom of the panel along the top of the other panels and obviously you don't want that. There's obviously a risk of getting hands trapped under there. So I do thoroughly recommend that you use the Grabo which is a handheld suction device. Um, it's got an electric motor as well, so it's not one of these ones that you just stick it on and pump it up with your thumb. It's actually an electric hand pump. Um, so you'll start to see that as we get further up, this will slide over. So you can see now that the clad boy has um, lifted it and it's now almost vertical. Now, that's why you put it in the top third of the panel. It lets gravity do the work for you, so you're not fighting with the, uh, the panel. Um, you can then obviously, the crane operator can then put this in place and away you go, get it nice and fixed in there. Um, I'll just demonstrate exactly what would happen if you moved it further down the panel and you can see why that, that is not, uh, not what you should be doing really. So if you attempted to lift it in the middle of the panel, you can see how it would hang. Now, there is a possibility that it could hang, you know, just flat as well. It depends exactly where you place it. So if you were to lift it like this, you would be trying to force this panel in the bottom here, get it all lined up, um, and it's just, it's just not worth it. You may as well let physics do the work for you. I mentioned, I briefly mentioned the Grabo vacuum lifting uh, suction cup. Uh, that's available at cladinmate.co.uk. There are two versions available as well. You've got the Grabo Plus and the Grabo Pro. Um, we've sold hundreds of them um, and people are really happy with them. They really like them. They work on composite panels. They work on our W panels as well. They get over the stiffening ribs. Um, obviously not the big profiles, uh, but the actual smaller stiffening ribs they get over nicely even when you're doing leather grain.